All right, so we got a lot of functionality in our site. If you go to admin, you can see right here, we got view posts, we can edit, delete, do a lot of things on it. We got categories, but what we don't have is in the home site right now, before we move to another section, we need to, when we click on this post, we need to go to that specific content, right? To that specific post. When we click on the title or the image or whatever, right now we click on it. If I wanted to go and see the, the rest of the content, Right now, even though we don't got much, we don't do that. It just refreshes, right? So we need to add that functionality, and we need to add the functionality of the blog categories there. That when we click on it, it goes to that specific category, and it will show you everything related to that category. But uh, we haven't done that yet. So what we need to do is we have a post page that I want to show you, and we did that in the beginning, if you remember. That's like a placeholder page. It's called post.php, and this is what we're going to do use for individual posts. We want to, I want to copy everything from index and put it here since we have the sidebar. The, the, since the sidebar is the same, the, the header and the footer are the same, and some of this information is the same, I'm just going to copy and paste it here. But I want to preserve the comment section, so we're going to take that off before we do that copy and paste it and paste. So let's go to line 102 on the post.php, which is in the same root as the index in the home page. And let's go all the way down two divs below that nested comment section right here. You see this comment that says ended nested two divs below? Just command exit or control exit. That's going to be all this, the comment section let's go to a new page let's paste it let's leave it there for now let's go back to index let's select everything on index copy it go to post select everything and paste it so now we have everything here we want to do a couple things here first we want to detect the URL the get request when we click on this, we want to send a GET request to post.php and catch it somewhere so we can detect the, the specific content from this, just like we've been doing in the back. Just like we did here in the view of post, we click here, we send a request here, and we display some information. We're going to do the same thing there, and we're going to be detecting this ID right here of this specific post or whatever post. All right? So before we do that, let's go back to that on title which is that section of the comment that we are holding. Let's do some command A or control A and select everything and go back to post. Below the loop right here, let's just paste this whole thing in there. Make sure what we have that. All right, perfect. So here we want to display everything, but we need to catch that somewhere. So first let's go to index. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's go to index and let me show you what I'm talking about right here. Here, we need to get the ID from this, from all the posts, right? So, right now we're getting all the titles. Let's get all the IDs right here. And post ID right here. And on here on the title, what I want to do is I want to make a link to post.php and I want to pass it a parameter. The parameter that I'm going to pass is that P underscore ID. And that is the key of the array of the get super global for the IDs, right? And I'm going to say equals, and it's going to be this post ID variable, right? So remember what, what, I'm, what we are doing here. But as a matter of fact, before we do that, before we put this variable here, we need to have a, let's just take that off. A PHP right there PHP tag and we need to echo the post ID all right make sure that you echo it because if you don't echo it doesn't work all right so hopefully you know what I'm, what we are doing all right we are sending when people click on this title it's gonna be right here actually on the front of the website we're gonna send a parameter in the URL and that parameter is going to be the P underscore ID equals the ID of the post and that's the same ID that we got right here 
when we click on it, you see this ID right here? That's the ID of the post. That's exactly what we're doing right now every time somebody clicks there. Right? So we need to catch this before we even make it work. So let's go ahead and catch it in the other side real quick. Let's go to the post.php and let's catch it right here. So we're going to say if set. What is if set? Can you guess before I put it in here? What are we checking for again? Remember, the key of what? Of this array, right? The P underscore what? ID. Remember that. Don't forget. And we are going to convert. This is the key, remember. And we are referencing the value of, of each of the posts when it's clicked. Don't get confused. Every, remember, you are in a loop. So post ID. This is very easy to get confused in the index because you are here in a loop. All right, let me show you. Remember here, this is the loop and it's right here. So this is looping through all the data in our post table. And every time it loops around, it grabs one of the IDs from that specific post and it will assign it to whatever you know, element we use. So let's say the first time it runs through, it assigns the ID to one post. And then when we click on that here on the, on the front page, let's say for, for example here, it will assign the ID to this content right here because that's where it is at, at the moment. All right. So right now the first go around is going to be on, let's say Edwin Diaz, post ID 28, the image black, whatever, the first time around, it would be on my post. The second time around, it would, be, it would be on Jose's post. And the ID would be different. The post author would be different. The date would be different, or the image would be different, right? Every time I ground, all this content changes to a different post. Remember, it's a loop. Remember, that we have the while looping here, right? So get that straight. So Let's go to that post, that PHP, and we are catching it right here, but we need to make a condition right here because we are displaying all the posts right here on this page, just like we're doing in the index, but we don't want to do that. We want to say where post ID, which is the column in our table, equals what? Equals the ID we are catching in the URL right here. Okay? There we go. And we can actually name it differently so that way we know what's going on the post ID all right and semicolon right here actually no semicolon well this is the SQL perfect all right so let's see if, the, if it works let's see if we, our invention works right <laughs> so let's refresh and clicking and we click on it and we get that page right here you see that it switched but you don't you didn't see it if I click on it post.php ID and let me show you that it works I'm going to go to another one that's different. I'm going to, right now, you see we are on the home page. If I scroll up and down with my mouse, I get all the posts. If I click on this, it, go to, it goes to ID 31. And if I scroll down, we get the comment section. So we are displaying individual posts now, all right? And we can add the same functionality to the picture, the same functionality to the picture, all right, if we wanted to. We can create a link. We can go to index and create a link around that picture and send it to that post. Very easy to do. As a matter of fact, if you want to do it, go ahead and do it. I'm going to leave it there just to make it simple. And for, if for some reason you have any problems, watch this video again. Make sure you get it. All right. Thank you so much for watching and I see you in the next lecture.